Good morning, good morning. Again, I say good morning in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Each and every day is a blessing. Each and every day is a gift from God. Each and every day should be full of hope and opportunity. I want to get back into the message today. Give a thanks unto the Lord for he is worthy to be praised. And he is worthy to be praised. Because nobody can do it like the Lord, as the old folks would say. Nobody can do me like Jesus. Because it's because of the goodness of the Lord while we're still here. God is good to each and every one of us. And all you got to do is take account of your life to reflect on the goodness of God in your life. Before you ever knew who God was, God already knew you. He said, I knew you before you was in your mother's womb. God already knew you. And I give God thanks for Jesus Christ. Before we were ever born, Jesus Christ died on the cross at Calvary to pay our sin debt in full before God. All we had to do was accept what Jesus Christ did for us. That's it. Or you could reject what he done. Salvation is free. It's been given unto you. It's the grace of God, the goodness of God, the mercy and favor of God that have been bestowed upon each and every one of us. And all we have to do is accept what Jesus Christ has done for each and every one of us. It's not by our works because we didn't do anything. Jesus Christ did it all. He paid the price. He gave up his life. He was whipped, beaten, and scourged, mocked, spit on, talked about, lied on for us so that we can have everlasting life. I give God thanks every day for Jesus Christ. Because if it had not been for Jesus, we all would be in trouble right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning I want to get into the book of Psalms, chapter 30. Psalms chapter 30, verses 1 through 5, God willing. And it reads like this. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. And has not made my foes rejoice over me. It's verse 1. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. I will give you praise. I will give you honor. I will give you the glory. I will bless your holy name. I will thank you during the course of the day. I will thank you in the course of the evening. I will, I will thank you before I lay down and go to sleep at night. I will extol thee. I will praise thee, O Lord. For thou hast lifted me up. Listen. And thou hast not made my foes rejoice over me. 
in this life that we live. You got to understand that you got some enemies. And you got the major enemy called the devil, Satan, who wants to destroy your life. And Jesus Christ told us, the thief come but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Lord have mercy, Jesus stepped into all that and said, I have come that you may have life and life more abundantly. God wants to give you life. Listen, I will extol thee. When I get up in the morning, I'm going to thank God for a brand new day. I know we all got struggles. I know we all got troubles. I know we all got issues. I know these things are taking place. But I'm going to praise the Lord. Listen, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. Thou, you got me up this. When I was in it to win it, when I was in my storm and in the circumstances, you lifted me up. You lifted up my soul. You lifted up my spirit. And has not made my foes rejoice over me. Don't you know there's people in this world that rejoice over you going through the issues of life? They rejoice at your pain and your struggle. They rejoice at the things that you're facing in this world. Listen, and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. People are glad when you are in trouble. Because they got something to sit back and talk about. They rejoice in your pain. They rejoice in your agony. They rejoice in your suffering. But look what it says. And has not made my foes rejoice over me. God going to step in. When you thank God, when you praise God, when you give God the honor and the glory, even though they try to hurt you and manipulate you in this life, God will shut that thing down on them. They can't rejoice over it because God's going to bless you. Because they sit back and they watch and they wait for you, for your, your destruction. To see you fall. To see you mess up. But God got you when you praise God. God got you when you thank Him. God got you when you lift Him up. Listen to the book. Verse 12. I mean, verse 2. Oh Lord, my God. Listen, oh Lord, my God, with it to you. Is he your Lord? Is he your God? Think about it. Oh Lord, listen, my God. You got to figure out which one it is. He said, my Lord. My God, you my Lord, I follow you, I serve you, whatever you tell me to do, I do. You my lead, I follow you. I follow your footsteps. Whatever you ask me to do, I do. Whatever you tell me to go, I go. Whatever you tell me to say, I'll say. And my God, he is the creator. He's the one I praise. He's the one I give honor to. He's the one I give the glory to. I cried unto thee, listen, and thou hast healed me. My God, oh Lord, my God, I cried unto thee. Have you ever cried unto the Lord? Had the thing in your life been so great, so painful? Had the storm that you're in, has engulfed you and shake up your life? That you cried unto the Lord because there's nobody else for you to cry to? You do with everybody that you know and told them about your problem 
and told them about your issue and told them about your struggle and they ain't paying you no attention. They talked about you. They were just like the folks here in verse 1 where it said, and has not made my foes rejoice over me. They ain't thinking about you. They talking about you. But it said, oh Lord my God, I cried unto thee. I cried unto you, Father. Because you're the only one got the answer. I cried to you, Father. My God, my Lord. Because I know that you can solve this problem. I cry out to you, my Lord and my God, because I know that you have the answer. And when I praise you and I thank you and I glorify you, you comfort my heart, mind, soul, and spirit. I cried unto, I cried unto thee. Stop crying to everybody else. Go to God. I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Sometimes you be sick in your body. You need healing in your body. Or you need healing in your soul. Or you need healing in your mind and your spirit. Then we all need some kind of healing. You need some healing from the past. People, things that people said, things that people have done to you. You need some healing. Listen, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. We all need some healing. Each and every one of us, we all need some healing. We all need to be healed. We live in a sinful, messed up world. And people have said and done some things to each and every one of us. People have hurt us real bad. And we need to be healed. We need some healing. And to sit back and say, I'm all right. I'm cool. I got this. No, you don't. Because hurt people hurt other people. And then you start to realize that now that nobody wants to be around you because now because you need some healing yourself and because you won't receive any healing within your heart, soul, mind, and spirit, now all the thing that you... In, eject out of you is pain. So now, because you feel nothing but pain, you inject pain in other people. And you hurt other people. And now you still need to heal it. Now those people have been hurt by you. Now they need to be healed. Listen. I cried unto thee and thou has healed me. You got to be honest with God. You got to be honest with God. And if you're hurting inside, tell God you need some healing. Stop talking about, hey, I'm all right. I got this. No, you don't. Because if you did, you'd be more loving and you'd be more kind and you'd be more supportive of people. Listen, verse 3. O oh Lord, thou has brought my up, uh, excuse me. O oh Lord, thou has brought up my soul from the grave. Thou has kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. O oh Lord, thou has brought up my soul from the grave. Do you know when, when, when you go through something in this life? It feels like death to you. You may not be physically dying, but the situation that you're in make you feel like you are dying. And sometimes the pain is so great, sometimes death 
might be the best answer. But God is the one that's going to restore your soul when you give him the praise, the honor, and the glory. God is the one that's going to lift you up when you cry out to him and you call on him. God is the one that's going to heal you from whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, whatever it is you're facing. It's like God is the one that's going to heal you when you bring it to him and you cry out to him and you give him honor and glory. God is the only one that can fix it. God is the only one. That's why I can't praise or give thanks to nobody else. It's God is the one who helped me. God is the one that saved me. God is the one who delivered me. God is the one who blessed me. God is the one who was there in the midnight hour when I was going through. Something. God was the one I had to go to when somebody hurt me, somebody lied to me, somebody tried to use me, somebody tried to manipulate me. God is the one I had to go to a crowd to about this. And God is the one who had to heal me. Oh Lord, thou hast brought up my soul. You can go through it so bad, you just, your soul is just spent, done, over. You have brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive. God kept me alive for a reason. That you can give a testimony about the goodness of God they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony of the goodness of God in their life when they were going through a certain situation. Listen, that I should not go down to the pit. And when you go going through something like that, it makes you feel like you're in the pit. you down and out, man. you just down in the pit. Verse 4, sing unto the Lord O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Sing unto the Lord, all you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Sing, praise, glorify, lift him up. Give him the honor and the glory. And when you lift him up, God lifts you up. Lord have mercy. Because the old saying is, when praises go up, blessings come down. God will lift you up out of that pit. I've been in that pit. I know what it's like. It feels like death. It feels like you're in the grave. It feels like no, there's no help for you. But when you start to thank God, and you start to praise him and give him the honor and the glory that he deserves. God will pick you up out of the pit and put your feet on some solid ground. The thing is, don't forget the one that blessed you. Don't forget the one that delivered you. Don't forget the one. Who brought you out of that trouble. Don't forget the one that made it possible for you. Don't forget him. Don't ever forget what God has done for you. Don't ever forget to give God a, a, a hallelujah praise. Don't, don't ever forget to give God the honor and the glory. Because it was God that delivered you, saved you, healed you, blessed your life. Delivered you out of that situation that you couldn't get out of. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, I thank you. I praise you. I give you honor and glory. Bless all those names in this basket, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. And if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord to save your life, I'm going to give you the opportunity to do so right now. As a Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins. And I repent of all my sins. I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he died on the cross at Calvary to pay my sin debt in full. And that he was buried and on the third day you raised him up with all power and authority in his hand. Help me. Fill my life and touch my life with the power of the Holy Spirit that may be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And if you pray that prayer, send us a prayer request. You see information concerning the church at the end of the broadcast, and also you see information concerning online giving. 
Send us a prayer request. Let us know you pray that prayer. We we'll make you a candidate for baptism in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All just stretch your hands out for the blessing. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. Be gracious unto thee, you. The Lord lift up his conscience upon thee and give thee peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. God bless your families. God bless everything you should put your hands to for the good. Give him the honor and the glory. And when you give him the honor and the glory, he'll heal your mind, body, soul, spirit. And he'll lift you up out of that pit that you're in. In Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 